Hey guys, this is my uh, this is my first video. Of my Aha, let's play. The spell is working. So uh, let's get started. Look, Gamma. Finally, we have found one. Oh. All right, I think this is a little bit loud, so I'm gonna turn down my volume a little bit. A young wizard, right. a student with amazing <coughs> potential, not enough too loud. perhaps to save Wizard City. Oh, really? Where? Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets. Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. All right, so <clears throat> maybe I should actually take the test. All right, yeah, sure, let's take the test. All right, I would rather be part of a winning team. Teamwork for the win. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with plague. Plague, like the Black Death, killed a lot of people in Europe. Learned that in history class. I'm pretty well rounded. My grades aren't that bad. I like winter. Snow's the best. I'd rather be part of a winning team. I don't know about you, but I think, uh... I'm gonna go with... Favorite animal would probably be a dragon. Favorite gemstone, onyx, death. I like oh, it. My vision okay. is failing me. Are you a boy or a girl? How do you not know what... Okay. I'm just not going to ask. Alright. Alright. Those are decently colored robes and I don't feel like changing them later. But now that we know what you are, right. what do black you Black hair because like? we're death. And death is black. Alright, let's go with that. Spiky. Alright, his face isn't that bad. Although some of the faces in this game are questionable. Okay. Good. I like it. Good. Now, what do you wear? I like these robes. All right then. What is your name? All right. My name's going to be Ryan because that's my name. It's pretty self-explanatory. I need a faster way to scroll. Probably should have just gone up. All right, Ryan. Ryan. Death. Death wielder. No, Death Whisperer. That sounds scary enough. Alright, that's me. Those are other people. Other individuals. Alright. <clears throat> Tutorial time. Well, hello. If it isn't our newest student. My name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. We're expecting <sighs> great things from you. But first things first. To move around... Use the arrow keys I'm on your keyboard. I'm just now learning how to walk. My owl friend would like uh, to speak with you. Walk, like walk up to Gamma the entire and... Game. Oh, wizards oh. test their skills <sighs> by summoning that. fantastic creatures Whoops. and dueling. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. I actually don't like PvPing, even though they're talking about dueling in general. But PvPing, I always lose. My strategy is terrible. All the power just legit starts pouring down rain. Like there, there was not even a cloud in the sky. How odd! Hmm. Come along, scary, young wizard. Let's investigate would, the matter. Meet me in the tower. I would be panicking. You best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. To the tower. It's not even like the the guy up there. It's just the fact that it started pouring down rain. Who's that? It's a scary part. Malister. Ambrose. Ambrose. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? I don't My think me and Ambrose are friends. Your little friend. 
just throwing that out there. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spell cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malistair himself. It's probably like Don't Sandusky. So sure of yourself. Yeah, where is this Sandusky? Man. That's pretty much what it is. Run up and confront them. Uh, these clowns. I will guide you. All right, we got attack from the back so they can't see us. Yeah, look at that attack from the back. Okay. You've drawn these spells from your deck. Quickly. You must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malastare's henchmen by... Oh, cut Amber's off. I'm too good for him, I guess. This is actually my second time recording this. And... The recording failed last time, and I will say last, the first time was much more funny. This time it's just kind of me. Me just, I don't even know anymore. Right. Oh my, you're hurt. You'll need to pay attention to your current health. This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. Well, mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh my, uh, call me a fool. fool. I had all but forgotten. He told me to call him a fool, so I did. All right. I don't think he does well, the well, best then. job of explaining right. that. Attack his henchman so, again. We're going to explain it while we attack. Basically, every time you get hit, like Scorpion, that 90 right there, took away 90 health. Health is pretty self-explanatory. If you don't have any health, you die. Nobody likes to die. But mana is more of the confusing part. So basically, every pip that you use, like those Aha! little white you dots right there. Fool. Your student is no match um, for my forces. Oh no, you're in trouble. Wait, Quickly, use the I unicorn spell and cast it on yourself. It will replenish your health. Alright. So basically, the unicorn is one pip. Not really when the tutorial is, but... So, one pip, and it took away one mana. And it takes it away uh, as soon as the... Uh, the round begins so like if that were to have fizzled or failed then i would have i Foolish would not get my mana back let the young whelp heal defeat the whelp or you'll suffer for it use your spells to weaken the young wizard's spells Malastare puts a weird emphasis on words you call me a Here whelp wizard. take like, some more pips not even insulting the more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Quickly now, pick another spell and another cast spell. it at All one right. of them. Gotta go through my long selection of spells. Alright, <clears throat> so... I just lost three Oh my, mana that spell reduced the power of your own spells. My pip spell is pretty... Later in the game, it's not really a big deal. That was a weakness, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. So, later in the game, it's not that big of a deal, because you can have, like, At last 400 or 500 keep. mana now at a time. So, it doesn't really, doesn't really affect you, because... Cast this if balance you use 500 spell mana at a time, it will you increase your next spell's power. a lot better at the game than I am. Alright, so basically, I'm casting a balance blade. <laughs> That's a phoenix. What if I had a pet phoenix and just like kept it in my room? It's a centaur. I never understood this. Centaur. It just like turns you into a tree. Oh, look at that. I'm not even there anymore. I'm a tree. 
but so <laughs> basically this one learns fast Alistair. Uh, to complete that game gets their own blade i've got and... it use this meteor strike spell it will strike interrupted. both of the henchmen here are the pips to cast it with with the balance blade spell you've already cast and i just cut them off i don't really care though but uh... Each school gets their own sort of blade, and it boosts up their school's, uh, like, damage, and that was a balance blade, and balance boosts up everything, but I will be getting a death blade, because I am death. The boom. Oh, excellent work, young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less. Another time, old man. I have what I came for. Oh, and good. now I'll take my leave of this wretched Place. I don't think this place is wretched. You're the one who makes it wretched. He's gone, and none too soon. Right. What sinister goal <sighs> brought him here? Hmm. Oh my, you look a bit the worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore you to your full health and manner. On the bright side, congratulations. <laughs> Defeating Malister's henchmen has earned you some experience. This experience bar will help you track your progress. All right, got thirty experience. When the bar fills up, is pretty much you'll gain a level your, uh, and be able to learn new spells. Do the tutorial because you get thirty-three experience and you need now, forty-five you to level up level two. So, young wizard, uh, first quest you finish, you get to level two, which is good. What's that? Right. You don't know how to speak. Apparently, I'm an My infant. Pardon. I don't know how to talk. Well then, let me teach oh. you how to use menu chat, and we'll see My what you have to say for yourself. So I apologize every time I move, it creaks. This is the menu chat button. <gasps> Click on it to say something. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Right. My quest all. I'm. I'm talking to Marley. Uh, you Andrews. have the way of it. Now you can chat with anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. You can also right. hit enter and type your own messages using text creak, chat. Creak. But players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. I forgot his face. I've You'll also need shed, a spell book open and chat, a wand. The whole spiel I have it. No young wizard should ever be without them. Hey, right. got a wand, got a book. I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. There's little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits you. Oh, who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. Same as boring. I don't want to be Sandusky. But now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. So if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. I'll summon you when things are presentable. Ah, oh, so many books and papers. Oh, cut them off. Oh, well. You didn't say anything important. All right. Well, now we wait. And this is lagging. Jesus, bad lag spike. All right. People with yellow exclamation points have quests. People. Welcome don't, to Wizard. I've an idea. Ah, keep it in Perhaps, space. Uh, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you might take a look. All you right. may be able to help. It will also let you see more of Wizard City. Pretty much said there's something wrong on Unicorn Way. Or just hit space really fast. The headmaster hands you a letter with an ornate wax seal. 
please deliver this letter to Private Stilson at the Unicorn Way Gate. He will let you through. You can use the yellow quest helper arrow at the bottom of your screen to guide you there. Alright. I apologize for hitting the space bar. But we are You have just been given a tutorial tip. These will occasionally appear on the right hand side of your screen. These are portraits that give you timely information when you click on them. Alright, wait a minute where I'm keeping my text yet. Alright. All this stuff is later, it's not really important. Alright, so now I have to listen to this Say, guy's talk. you have permission to use text chat. This allows you to talk more freely to others. When you press enter, you will see the say icon. If you are in a group, you will also see the group chat icon. The message will appear above your head, and can be seen only by other players that have permission for text chat. If you're in a group and you want to say something to people nearby, make sure the say icon is bigger. To talk to your group, make sure the group chat icon is bigger. To switch, click on the one you want to use. Words that are valid will show up white. Words that are not allowed will show up red. For more details, go to the Wizard 101 website. Alright. My headset was stuck in my chair. Alright. He's done. They're talking about random stuff. We are. Hello, young wizard. One. I am Mr. Lincoln, the registrar of Wizard City. I will provide you with useful information to help you in your studies. I apologize for the interruption, but I wanted to bring something important to your attention. If you ever have any questions about magic or the world around you, magic. I've included some reference material in your spell book. Magic. Simply open your spell book I and read over the help pages. They contain loads book. of valuable information. Alright, see so some talking. Alright. Oh, I want a panther. That guy looks cooler than me. I want a flaming bird too. I want a lot of things in this game. <clears throat> Alright, before I talk to Stilson, we're going to go over some stuff. Alright, let's start from the top. Alright, character page. Uh, later in the game, you get armor, which adds to your resistance to certain schools, accuracy, damage boost, stuff like that. Badges are for whenever you complete little achievements you can get a badge and wear it. PvP, I'm not good at PvP. So yeah. It's PvP. And this is for crafting and pet hatching. Backpacks where you keep all your stuff. I don't have anything besides a deck and a wand, so I don't really have you can get a bunch of stuff. Don't skip pets. Don't have a pet. So, the spell deck is where you keep your spells, coincidentally enough. Quests, uh, I can go talk to Private Stilson. Map is the map. Recipes, uh, it's for crafting. And you can build like armor and stuff for your house items with stuff you find in the game, which hopefully I'll find eventually, and I can talk more about it then. Help is if you pretty much just start the game. These are about quests. This is about cards and fighting. This is about, like, shortcuts and what each thing means. Um, <coughs> this is about, like, training in your school and stuff. Um about your house but I'll go to my house eventually PvP not good at no I'm probably not gonna do it for at least a long time crafting I'll do that eventually crown shop I don't have any crowns so can't do anything there pets don't have any pets but there's a quest to get a pet soon Gardening, don't have any gardening stuff, mounts, um, 
<clears throat> I might get a mount because I have one of my other characters that I don't really play on anymore. Oh, just accidentally opened up the credits. All right, this, these are all your settings. If you hit this button, it opens up where stuff is around you. So if I didn't know where I was going, I could open this up and I could find my way there. But you usually have a quest error there, so you don't really need it. Plus you can always use your map. Um, this button teleports you back to the commons, which I'm in the commons. So I don't really need to go back there. Plus it won't let me. That's to go home if you need to go home. Like when you have your castle, you can teleport in between worlds a lot faster than walking to the gate to go in between worlds. <clears throat> this marks your location, so let's say you're feeling kind of fat and you don't feel like walking all the way back. You can mark your location, like if it's at the end of a street or something, then you could just click that button and go right there and marking stuff costs mana. So it's not that big of a trade-off. Alright, and we can go talk to Stilson. None shall pass! Unicorn Way is off limits! There are ghosts everywhere! You show Private Stilson a letter with Headmaster Ambrose's wax seal. Looks legit. I'll let you pass. Show this to Private Connolly in Unicorn Way. Alright, so that's easy. We're gonna go into Unicor Unicorn Way next time. But, uh, until next time, we're not gonna go into Unicorn Way. But this, this is where I'm gonna end the video. You can look for another one to be up probably tomorrow. Or. Maybe I might do another one tonight based on how things are going. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess this is it. If you liked it, like the video. If you, uh, want to see the rest of the series, subscribe. And, uh, I'll see you guys later.